the Bryant Hornets win the 7A Central. It came down to the final play of the game as Bryant claimed its third consecutive 7A Central Championship with a 32-29 win over Conway to end the regular season. A key momentum boost for the team as they now look for their fourth consecutive state championship. Veteran offensive lineman Will Diggins has been in the spot before. We struggled a little bit in our last game, but we pulled it out. And I feel like this bye week is going to really help us come, uh, come together as a team more and make a good state run. Sophomore Mitorian Singleton caught the game-winning touchdown and the ensuing two-point conversion to lead the Hornets past the Wampus Cats. It was a fight, but we fought to the end and we won. The team entered the year on a 30-game winning streak and three consecutive state titles, but this was a different team with 10 new players on defense and a new quarterback. The team faced adversity, losing to Longview in the third game of the year, ending their winning streak at 32. I'd say the biggest challenge we faced was Longview this year. Every other game, stupid mistakes. But Longview tested our skills the most. New additions to the 2021 team include a new starting quarterback as Carson Burnett took over for a highly decorated quarterback who won numerous Player of the Year awards. Well, I knew I had some big shoes to fill, but Coach Bach, we've been in the film room a lot lately, and so I've just been, been with Coach Bach, and he's been teaching me everything he taught awesome little better. Much of Burnett's success this year is due to his offensive line, who does their best to protect him on each play. The expectations for doing the job right stem from the top with head coach Buck James. He's a great coach, but he's ex he expects a lot. So moving up as a freshman, it was hard because we was just doing what we wanted to. You know, we came up here, put us through a lot. He definitely made me better and prepared me for a college career. Bryan begins its playoff run by welcoming Fort Smith Northside to Hornet Stadium. The team needs two wins to make it back to War Memorial Stadium and three wins to claim its fourth and consecutive state championship. For the Bryant Buzz, I'm Carson Hobson.